sí, fu. Thank you for uh, watching one of my videos again. Uh, today, we're going to talk about food. I told you guys last time we were going to talk about food, and I'm keeping my word. All right. I'm going to bust some myths. And before I do, I guess, let me scoot forward here a little bit. Nah, that's too much of me. All right. Uh, before I bust some myths, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some disclaimers out there. Um, one, I don't know everything. So what works for me may not work for you. Um, two, I've killed fish feeding them. Everybody has, everybody will, and no matter what you do, it can happen. Uh, three, my way is not the only way. So with those things in mind, let's get into what I feed, okay? A lot of people will tell you, you need to feed a quality feed. And if you're breeding guppies for profit, quality feed is expensive. It is. Um, and it's good. You, you can feed less of a quality feed and your guppies will do just as good as if you feed more of a lesser quality of feed. Now, what's the benefits of feeding more of a lesser quality feed, right? The abundance of feed in an aquarium with good water changes. See, I change, I do 25% water changes twice a week. Um, but with good water changes, uh, the benefit of feeding more of a lesser quality food is that I trick my fish into believing there's plenty of food. So it's okay to have fry, which encourages the breeding and the... Um, I guess the population bloom in each tank because the little mama guppy and the daddy guppy, they're swimming around. They're like, hey, we got enough food here to have more kids. And, and their fry that they have, they'll have more fry. Um, another good thing about feeding a lesser quality food. I'm going to go through the good things of a lesser quality food and the bad things. Okay. So another thing about a lesser quality food feeding it is your fish are used to a lesser quality food when you sell your fish to joe blow down the road uh that's never had fish before and he runs out and he buys some food at walmart it's not the top quality food he's buying he's buying the lesser quality food and if your fish are not used to eating it they won't eat it and they'll get sick and die um uh, it causes a whole stress thing. Now, dollar and cents wise, let's let's look at that. Okay, higher quality food costs more money, but you have you don't have to feed as much because it has more protein, more fat, just better ingredients. Okay, and a lesser quality food, a uh, cheaper food, um, has less of that. So when you feed them, they're not getting the full amount of nutrients. So you have to Give them a little bit more. Okay. I feed because I'm trying to get the maximum amount of guppies I can get three times a day. And that's a lot. Uh, a lot of people don't feed that much. And and I feed in the mornings. I figure breakfast. And then they got to have lunch. And then dinner, right? So that's, that's what I do for them. And uh, let's go over what I use for food. Okay, because like I told you, I feed a lesser quality food. So, you can buy this bucket of feed here for $42. There you go. It's a Tetra Mini Tropical Flake. Okay, it's uh, five pounds of food for $42. And you're like, 
golly, you know, that's a lot of food. And you're right, that is a ton of food. And you can't, I'm not to the point to where I can carry this around and reach in. Poof, poof, you know, everybody gets food. You get food, I get food, everybody gets food. I'm not to that point yet. So, but when you buy something like this, you what you do is you take your empty food containers, you know, that you've used all the all the food out of and you refill them and then that's what you use to go around and, and feed your fish all right now let's go over some good food okay and i just had this one this is top fins uh tropical uh, tropical fish flake and it is 47 percent uh protein uh it's got 10 percent fat and it's got 3% crude fat. Uh, you know, it's it's a good thing. And then you read the, the in ingredients. Fish meal, uh, wheat flour, you know, um, wheat germ, fish oil. You know, okay. It's it's a fish food. Okay, now let me get some more here. Um, right here. Here's a good food. Alright, it's a... It's a a pellet food, a semi-floating pellet food for tropical fish. And uh, it's 49% uh, protein as well. And 10% uh, fat. And it, let's look at the ingredients. It says fish meal, kill meal, soybean, corn or flaked corn, uh, cuttlefish meal. I mean, this is really good. Okay, and let's look at another one. Here you go. This is a this is another good feed, and it's for enhancing color. Uh, and I'll get into that in a second. And it's forty six seventy, so it's not as good. But it fish meal, kill meal, wheat flour, flake corn, uh, yeast, uh, cuttlefish. Uh, so it's pretty near the same thing or you can feed stuff like this this is omega-1 and it's a uh, freeze-dried brine shrimp um, it comes in a it comes in a cube and you drop the cube in there and they munch on it all day here's one that if you go to Petco or PetSmart that they will tell you is the world's best food and it's bug bites, okay? And uh, I don't know why it's the best food. They, I guess because they got a good deal on selling it. But um, maybe they chop up a bunch of bugs. I don't know. It says uh, insect larvae and uh, salmon recipe for fish food, okay? So there you go. That's what they, they sell at Petco and PetSmart for the number one feed. All right, and you know what I feed. Oh, wait, I better, just to be thorough. Uh, let's see what it says for ingredients here. Okay, 46% protein, 11 fat. Uh, it says fish meal, dried yeast, ground brown rice, shrimp meal, dried fish, uh, protein digest. Uh, wheat gluten, floating oatmeal, you know, there's a lot of stuff in there, okay? Um, so, why do I feed this instead of uh, bug bites or any of that? Because like I told you, I feed three times. But I don't just feed this, okay? Um, I do a thing. I want to show you guys how big the flake is in this, in this uh, tropical flake food. This is unbelievable. Get open. Look how big that flake is. Yeah. So, when you uh, go to feed this, there's a lot of crumbling that goes along with it. So, what I do is I take a, a small can of any of these cans that I've fed in the past and I put it in there and I mash it up 
And what I use is like a pair of pliers or, or you could use anything, just your finger and just keep driving it down in there. And I get it to where it looks like this. Uh, right over there. It's very, very thin flake or very crumbled flake. Okay, so what do you do? Okay, now you just turn, you know, big flake to little flake. What's the big deal? Now you're feeding lesser quality, but you guys know the reason. I'm not sure my feed is lesser quality. Um, I use spirulina. There you go. I get it from Walmart. It is a dietary supplement. And for a container this big, I add six of these. And I'll show you what they look like. Here, let me put the rest of them back. Get one. Six of these little pills. And they're tablets. And you can pull them apart and you just dump them in there. So you put six of those in there. And I'm saying this is for... This one here is 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 a 2.2 ounce, 62 gram container, okay? And I also use one packet of API General Cure. I put that in there as to make it kind of a medicated food, but the amount of medication they get out of it is very small. But I use that to help with parasites and a wide variety of other stuff. Okay, so in the mornings, I run around and I feed this. Uh, by noon, it's time to feed again. And I don't feed my magical concoction. I feed brine shrimp. I get this from Aquarium Co-op. There you go, there's a plug. Aquarium Co-op, brine shrimp. He has the best brine shrimp I've found so far. If if somebody knows where I can find better hatching brine shrimp at a cheaper price, I will buy it. Um, and it comes in these cool cans, so you got to like that. Um, I feed brine shrimp. And when I feed brine shrimp, I feed brine shrimp. So, uh, the first... the Okay, so you start them in the morning, and then by noon the next day, they're ready to go, right? So... I hatch my brine shrimp, I, I put them in a container, and I, I'll show you guys all that in a different video. But I feed an entire turkey baster to each tank, an entire. I suck it up, and it comes all the way up into the bowl, full of these little orange brine shrimp, and every one of them gets it at lunch. They get a, a fresh, live lunch. And what do I think the benefits of that is? Well, if I have fry in there, they really really enjoy the live fish um or shrimp the chase i guess is what they're after um and i've really found that it increases breeding the more you can feed them a natural food the more they'll want to breed so i've found by feeding my fish brine shrimp once a day they actually breed more and have more fry when they do breed. Okay, so now you're like, well, now your food just went from cheap food to expensive food. And the truth is, it didn't. Um, my cheap food is still cheaper than the expensive food. I, I'm feeding three times a day where most people will feed once a day and they'll feed, or maybe twice a day, and they'll feed... Um, brine shrimp once a week or they'll skip a day and not feed at all I, my fish never fast um i keep i keep mystery snails in my tank to help with overfeeding but yes i do boy I'm, oh, yes i do let me get that down yes i do have bloat in some fish sometimes i it happens because i get a little aggressive on the food preparation but the number of fry I have makes up for the one or two fish I may lose to blow. So that's for guppies. Now you guys also know I breed betas, or if you didn't know, I do. And I've 
try brine shrimp on betas when they're really little they can't eat them and I've watched a million videos where they say feed them brine shrimp at a week old and they can't eat them so there is a cure for that and this ain't very expensive here you go this is from aquarium co-op right here uh, boy I'm plugging him today and I shouldn't be doing that anyway super easy feed for baby fish I'll get it up there easy feed food this stuff is so small it's a dust and you just pull this off put some dust on there and the beta fish it floats on top of the water so then your little beta fish can come up and eat it as your beta fish get older they will eat brine shrimp but I'm telling you they have to be two weeks old maybe three weeks old before they actually can chase down the brine shrimp and eat them um, I also take uh, I like to feed this to my older fish it's a top fins uh, uh, beta bites uh, what I'll do is I got one of them I know everybody saw the infomercial form for the the bullet uh, I'll take one whole one of these and dump it in there run it through the bullet and then I have a, a powder from it it's actually more like a crumble and then I'll feed that until they hit about two months old and then after they're two months old I'll go to a micro that's why I actually have these is to feed to my betas because the micro pellet's small enough because even at two months old these are too large but they do enjoy at two months old they do enjoy chasing the brine shrimp so in short in closing in everything let's get over it let's go over our powerpoints i can buy 40 for 42 dollars. i can buy five pounds of feed uh, and i can feed my fish forever three times a day and I throw in brine shrimp once a day and I can have a ton of baby fry okay and what does that do for me well if you're breeding for profit you can't make it without babies and the other thing is when somebody buys your fish they'll run down to Walmart they'll buy that little 10 gallon uh, aquarium kit and it comes with a package of exactly that stuff right there and if your fish has only been eating this their whole entire lives they ain't gonna want to eat that tropical fish flake just not gonna do it and they'll stress out and die and you'll replace fish and they'll tell everybody they know get on ebay blah, 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 blah. he's a terrible guy he's only sick fish truth is they're not used to the cheap food a fish that eats cheap food will eat expensive food. But a fish that only eats expensive food will not eat cheap food. Try it. You'll find out. All right. So, I've went on long enough, probably. I hope I covered all the bases on feeding for profit. That That's what I'm going to name this one. Feeding for profit. Don't spend all your money on feed. Buy more fish. The number of fish you have increases the number of guppies you have. The more guppies you have, the more money you'll make. Um, I don't know how many times I gotta stress that. Uh, that is the main thing. You're competing against everybody when you're selling a guppy because everybody raises guppies. And guppies are not a high dollar fish. They're not a discus. So you gotta have numbers. We gotta McDonald the heck out of them to get enough to make it worth breeding them. All right. So I'm getting out of here. I wasted enough of your day. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions on how I feed something I didn't cover uh, or I blew right by it and you missed it, I probably didn't say it, to be honest. Uh, leave a comment and I'll tell you how I do it. It may not be the best way. It may not even be the right way, but it's the way that works for me. And that's kind of the joy of raising fish is that it's what works for you. You get to experiment with little bitty lives and and make a whole house for them and feed them and you're like their master of their universe and to make it get big you do what it takes that works the best for your fish and this is how i do it all right 
So I'll see y'all later. Oh, still, Olympics still going on. You guys, go USA. Um, I'll get out of here. I'll quit wasting your day. But remember, share, like, subscribe. Even if you don't like the video. I don't like all the videos I watch. But I'll get better. I got to. You know, you once you're at the bottom, there's only one way. And it's up. So unless you flounder and blow, then you're down there on the bottom. But no. There's only one way but up. All right. I thank you for your time. And I'll see you guys. The next one I got a rant. So you guys are going to love this one. I went into Petco and just about got escorted out. So I will have a rant on the next one. It'll be a short one. See you guys later. I truly, truly appreciate you. And each and every one of you have a blessed day. See ya. Oh.